Hello, everybody, and welcome to Star School. My name is Paul Croto. We're really excited to be with you here today as we continue our leadership development series. And with me today, we have, as always, um, the what's your? You just got a brand new rank, Cheryl, right? A black diamond ambassador. Yes, black diamond ambassador. Super excited about that. So we have black diamond ambassador Cheryl Morley. She's the master <laughs> distributor in our company. She does over fourteen million dollars per month in sales just an incredible woman and someone that has uh really helped a lot of people become better leaders as she's growing as a better leader herself as we all are we're all on this journey together um we're really excited to bring you another leadership law today uh, and, and help you grow on your leadership journey towards becoming a better leader here at longevity and helping not only grow yourself but also grow your longevity business so Cheryl, what's our leadership law for today? Well, this is super exciting, Paul. And, um, you know, I have realized over, um, over the last few years the importance of leadership. So I am super excited today. So leadership law number nine, and that is the law of magnetism. I just love that word, magnetism. I think this is awesome. So the law of magnetism states is who you are is who you attract. So this is super cool to me because um, it's, it's just really all about who you are, right? And so Paul and I were talking um, off the record about this and we were going over all of these um, different qualities that we thought, you know, what's really important? Who are you looking for in your prospects? Who do you wanna work with? Which is so fantastic because we get to decide who we work with, right? So we were talking about the different qualities that we feel are really, really important and what we're looking for. And we came up with five of them. Paul, what's the first one that we came up with? Well, Cheryl, you know, we, as you know, we put a lot of thought and effort into uh, coming up with this list here. And the number one quality that we're looking for in people, and I think this is such an important exercise to do um, because, you, you know, if you don't know who you're looking for, you're never going to find them. So it's really important to know who you're looking for. So Cheryl and I both agree that the number one quality that we're looking for in a prospect is hunger. You know, it, we're looking for someone who's very ambitious, someone who has strong desire, someone who has a lot of drive, uh, initiative. You know, they're, they're happy, they're grateful in life, but they want more. You know, they have really high standards in life. And they just have like a real strong burning desire to help more people. So Cheryl, what's your take on, on this, uh, this quality of hunger? Well, I love it because, you know, all of those things you said, um, it kind of reminds me of, you know, 22, 23 years ago um, when I was working at a fast food restaurant, I had all of those things, right? I was hungry. I was ambitious. I had a strong desire. I had drive. I had all of those things but I just wasn't sure where I was going, right, in life. And so that's what this has done for me, is it, is it really gave me um, a, a vehicle to really excel and succeed. So it doesn't, the thing I love about this, it doesn't really matter where you are in your life right now. If you have these things, you're well on your way. So yeah. I love it. Yeah, and if you, if, you, if you come across somebody who doesn't have a lot of hunger, you know, they're kind of like, well, I'm okay with my life and blah, blah, blah. You know, that's obviously not the person you're looking for because this is, not only is this number one, I'm not sure we even need to go on to number two. I mean, this is how important number one is. If you find someone who's hungry that really wants this, there's pretty much, you know, they're going to be successful because it's just, they, they have that desire to be successful. Um, but let's go on. We have, we have four other ones to talk about. The second one that we came up with, is looking for a quality in a person that they're sharp, you know, they're competent, they get it, you know, and, and they have the ability to learn the system that we have here at Longevity and do the system. Yep, I love that, Paul, and, and I think that's so true. Um, you know, if, 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 and it's really, it might even be a willingness, right? Um, you're sharp and, and you're willing um, to learn a system and do a system. Yeah. You know, because that's, that's what we have here. We've got a success system that we have put into place that really help, you know, it really helps people a lot. But the, the sharp person will realize that they need to do a system and plug right into it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's the second quality we came up with. The third quality that we feel is, is critical in, in a great um, longevity member is someone who has that mentality, that quality of I'm unstoppable. 
You know, that's, they just have this mindset, you know, that they're, they have great persistence. They're committed. They, and that usually comes from having a clear vision of their future. Like I really want that. And they can see what that is in their future. Um, they, you know, they dream big, you know, and they can, they can see that happening and they want it so bad that they become unstoppable. They have this incredible work ethic. You know, they love the grind. I mean, they just love getting up in the morning. Let's, let's get at it. Let's do it. You know, they'll do whatever it takes to succeed. Nothing will stop them. You know, they're just, they're just that make it happen kind of person. And Cheryl, I also believe that, that they have courage. You know, they, they know this is going to be hard, but they're going to do it anyways. That's really, to me, what unstoppable means. What does it mean to you? Yeah, I, I love that, Paul. All of those things are so important. But a really big one, um, when I think of unstoppable, to me, it really means that, look, we all know we're going to get knocked down, right? All of us know that. We all know that there's going to be hard times. There's going to be tough times. Um, there's going to be obstacles um, all along the way. But unstoppable means to me that you will get up. You will, there will be obstacles, but you will find either a way around, a way over, a way under, or a way through an obstacle. And that to me um, really is what unstoppable means. And you know what, Paul, I love people that have that unstoppable, I don't know, I call it the unstoppable gene, right? I mean, they just, they are unstoppable. No matter what happens, they get back up. And Dr. Wallach reminds me of that. That's yeah. who he is. And I love that. Yeah, well, he's all five of these things. No question about it. He is the ultimate leader, but he is unstoppable. I mean, there's no way you're going to stop Dr. Wallach. The, uh, the fourth quality we're looking for in a prospect is someone who's energetic, you know, someone who has high energy. You know, we, we truly believe that your vibe attracts your tribe. So you've got to have a good vibe, a good energy level. You've got to, you know, live with passion, um, have that positive attitude and have that charisma um, around other people that, that um, you know, we, we all just want to be around high, en high energy people. Yeah, absolutely, Paul. And I, you know, energy for me is a must, right? Um, it just makes you feel better. It makes you feel good. It makes your day better. Um, when you meet someone with energy, you're, you're naturally, I believe, attracted to them because of that high energy, because of you know, when I think of someone with energy, I think, oh my gosh, that, that person is going places. And I think that's so important as we're building our businesses to have people on our team with high energy. Because why? High energy will bring everybody up. The yep. lower the energy, it could bring everybody down. So you want people with that high energy to bring everybody up to stay positive. I love it. Absolutely. And, and you know, Cheryl and I are speaking from um, <laughs> a place of, uh, you know, where we've learned a lot over the years and we work with people who are not energetic and have low energy. And, you know, we, we all know those people in life that just like don't give you energy, but they, they it's like their job to suck the energy out of you, you know? Yeah. So, uh, we don't want those people. We were looking for high energy people. People who are a positive attitude. We're going to do this and, um, and have a lot of energy doing it. So, so we, uh, definitely are not looking for low energy people. And last but not least, the fifth thing, and this is um, really near and dear to my heart because, you know, I've always, you know, the hunger is always there, you know, being sharp, learning the skills and being coming competent, you know, having that unstoppable mentality that I'm going to do it no matter what, you know, having high energy, all those things are super important. But when it comes down to it, you got to have discipline. They're, they have this, this quality called discipline, you know, that they're doing what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. You know, they're, they're focused on, on staying on the yellow brick road. This is the whole analogy that Cheryl and I use here at Star School is we got this, this Emerald City. We know exactly where we're going to. You know, we know what that looks like and, and, and we've got the goal to hit it um, and a deadline to hit it by and we're following this yellow brick road down, down the, 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 the way here to get to that Emerald City. And you just gotta stay focused on on staying on that road. There's, there's too many people who get distracted, you know, and there's life gets in the way and it's not this big, um, you know, boulder that comes and hits you. It's, it's all these small little things, you know, that, that distract us throughout the day. And, you know, you know, again, we are hungry, we're sharp, we're, we're unstoppable, we're energetic, but still there's, for some people, they get distracted, you know, and they get distracted easily. So we're looking for someone who's disciplined, who can follow these 10 daily habits, every single day because that is absolutely the key to success 
Well, and that's so true, Paul. And it's so important to stay disciplined. And you guys look, um, you will get distracted. I get distracted, you know, from everything and think about it. You guys, I mean, the whirlwind is happening. Life is happening all around us. And the thing that I like about this is to me being disciplined is, you know, maybe deciding that I'm going to do the 10 daily habits every single day. So I've decided that. And then I know I will be distracted, but guess what? It's how quickly I can get back on track and get focused again if I do get distracted. Not if, I will, right? Because life's happening, but that's okay. But as long as you know what you're going to do, the 10 daily habits every day, and then the minute you get distracted, you just jump right back into where you were and, you know, really refocus and get those 10 daily habits done every day. So I love that, Paul. It's so, so, so important, um, you know, to be disciplined and to, and to really be all of these things and to continually uh, work towards that. Now, we know what qualities we are looking for in a prospect, right? We just went over those five things. So the question is not necessarily, where do I find these people? Although I have to tell you, that is exactly where I went. After Paul and I came up with our five, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, so where do I find a person that's energetic, that's disciplined, that, you know, all of those five things. But the question really is, do I have these qualities? That's really what we need to ask ourselves. Do I have these qualities, right? So high energy people are not looking to hang out. We already talked a little bit about this, but we're not looking to hang out with people who are, you know, down in the mouth, as my dad used to say, or lazy, or, you know, not, um, not ready to take hold of their life and really do something. That's why we're here, right? We, that's what, how, what we really want to do. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to um, go ahead and you are going to ask yourself on a scale from one to 10, how well you score on each of these five qualities. Okay. And you're going to write that number down and be honest. You guys, I love to give myself a 10 in all of this, but, but really think about it. And 10 is unbelievably the best. That would be Dr. Wallach. So if you have um, the energy of Dr. Wallach, who does 300, uh, over 300 meetings a year, then you go ahead and put a 10 down there. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite there yet. But so you want to go ahead and, um, and score yourself on all of these. So we're, what we're doing is we're scoring ourselves on all of the 21 laws of leadership. Okay? And all of the other laws are extremely important. They really are. But if you are not working on this first, we really need to start with these qualities. Because remember, we attract who we are. So we need to work on these. Okay, We need to start with these five qualities and really work on them. Because the other 20 don't much matter in our longevity business if we can't get these down. Look, if you're not disciplined... What? It won't matter if you can't get those 10 daily habits done, right? None of the other stuff is even going to matter. So the first person that you need to lead is yourself. This was really hard for me, you guys, because I love to lead other people. This is the way I was thinking years back, right? I love to lead other people. But can you lead yourself? Something that you really need to think about. Ask yourself that. Get in a quiet place. Ask yourself can I lead myself, right? And those five things are things that you need to be able to do for you to lead you before you can lead others. So we have to become those five qualities. Now, how do we do that? Let's turn it back over to Paul to hear how we do that. All right, Gerald, I love what you just said about you know, working on the, these five qualities and becoming these five qualities. And it's so important to realize or to know that you can improve on these five things. You know, I'm sure uh, some people were listening to this, uh, this, this, this uh, law that we're going through now, and they're, they're listening to the five things and they're like, well, I'm, I'm not any of those things, or I'm not this, or I'm not that, you know? And so, you know, you, you had the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the idea of just hanging it all up, you know, that, oh, this isn't for me. I'm, I don't have, I don't have discipline. Well, you can learn discipline to me as a muscle. It's something that I wasn't born with. I just had to 
learn how to strengthen that muscle and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get back on the yellow brick road, as Cheryl mentioned. So that is just something you learn how to do and you, and you, you, you are not good at it in the beginning. And as you work harder and harder and harder on it, it becomes easier and easier and easier. So let's talk about these five qualities and how you can get better at them. I mean, number one, hunger. Okay, so, so how do you get more hungry? Well, it really comes from looking at your whys. What we do during star school is we take you through plan. Okay, so plan is really where we're going through where you want to go. You know, where is that result that you're looking for? What's that outcome you're looking for um, here at Longevity? And knowing why in the world you want that. You know, and, and for people that are not hungry in life, they haven't come up with their whys. Why do you want to accomplish this goal that you set here at Longevity? Those, gotta be, those whys have got to, as they say, make you cry. You know, when you have those super powerful whys, I know Cheryl's big why is her family. She loves her family, loves her kids, and will do anything for them. I mean, anything. So that is a huge, huge why for Cheryl and a lot of people is, is to give their family a better life. So um, it's really working on those whys. So if you don't feel like you're hungry enough, go back to your whys and really say, why am I doing this? Number two, sharp. People say, well, I'm not really sharp. Well, you know, this is why Cheryl and I do star school. We're trying to help you become more competent. We're trying to teach you the skills here um, so that you can be very, very successful here at Longevity. So you can become more competent as you learn more things. That's why it's so important to be here every Thursday and to be on Star School and to go to starschoolsystem.com and to work on personal development every single day, it's one of the 10 daily habits, is because the more you do that, the more competent, the more sharp you're gonna become. So this is something you can absolutely improve on. Unstoppable, the third quality, how do you become more unstoppable? Well, it really, in my opinion, comes from having a clear picture in your mind of your goal. And be very, um, so I'm big on wording, you know, that I, when, I, when I write out my goal, I use words that really move me. Um, words are very, very powerful. So when I'm reading my, my goal, my, the result that I want to achieve here at Longevity, um, I, and I get that clear picture in my, in my mind of what the finish line looks like. You know, we call it the Emerald City. What does the Emerald City look like in your life? And have, the, have a description of, of that. And when you get super passionate about that, hitting that goal and, and reaching that, you become unstoppable. You know, there's just like, I, it, it, it moves from being just a want in your life to a must. I must have that. And um, that's, that's when people, really people become unstoppable. And then uh, we talk about being energetic. You know, energetic is really just a mindset. This is one for me. Now, Cheryl, I, we've talked about this off record and, um, and I talked to Cheryl's mom um, about this. And I said, you know, Cheryl always been like, really high energy and she's like yeah she's you know she's just one of those people that has high energy no i wasn't like that i was always the person that would look at someone like sharon like i want to be like her but i wasn't you know so but what i learned is that it's something i could improve upon and it, it's nothing more than a conscious mindset you know we have to get ourselves in the proper state of mind so you know a lot of us including myself we can get into bad states of mind. You know, we can go, I wouldn't say like, you know, there's, we obviously know people that can get into a, a depressed state of mind or a stressful state of mind or worried state of mind. You're, so you always got to be aware of your state and know how to bounce out of it. You know, Cheryl and I talk so much about how to raise your energy level. So we talk about listening to certain music, reading, um, writing down the three things you're most grateful for right now. We have a whole list of things you can do to, to change your mindset in one second to instantaneously become more energetic. And it's the way you talk, the way you breathe, the way you move, all those things contribute to being more energetic. And that, again, is just a muscle you have to work on and, and being aware of where is my energy level at this moment? And then doing something that's gonna raise it up. And last but not least, it's being disciplined. You know, and discipline is again, nothing more than a muscle. As Cheryl mentioned, there's gonna be things that are gonna happen in life all day long. You're gonna be distracted by this or distracted by that but it's getting back on that yellow brick road, getting back on track and back to those 10 daily habits. So I did a couple of daily habits and then I got distracted, but I came back and I did number four. Then something else happened, I came back and did number five. So I, but I was always committed to getting back on, back on track, getting back on that yellow brick road. And it's just something that you need to work on. But as, as we talk about here in the law of magnetism, you have got to become better at these five things because you're never going to attract people that have these five qualities unless you have these first five, these 
five qualities yourself. So it's so important, important to work on these. Um, but not only is it the, the qualities that we have that attract people to us, there's, there's actually three things that attract people to us. Number one being our qualities, as, as we just went over here in this class. But Cheryl, what else attracts people to us? You know, we're talking about this law of magnetism. What's going to attract more people onto our longevity team? Well, number two, Paul, is our mission and vision attracts a certain type of person. So our mission here at Longevity, our purpose, why we exist, why we're here, is to help people improve their physical, emotional, and financial health, right? Um, and our vision, okay, so what we see when we look into the future here at Longevity is one million people living a better everyday life because of Longevity because of what we're doing, right? So some people are going to love this. I mean, they're gonna absolutely love our mission and vision, right? And they're gonna to wanna to be a part of it. And others, it won't speak to their heart, right? They won't be interested in pursuing our mission and our vision. But those people that are, those are the ones that we're looking for. All right, so what's number three, Paul? Well, the third thing, so there's three things that, that attract people to us. It's our qualities, our, our, as Cheryl just mentioned, our, our mission and vision. The last thing that's going to attract people to us or, you know, repel them from us. They're not going, they don't have these values that we have. So we have three key values here at Longevity. The number one thing we value above everything else is growth. You know, we are obsessed with progress and achieving results. So personal growth is number one here. We, we, you know, this is what we do, Cheryl and I, we do personal growth. We come here every Thursday. We want to help you grow as a leader. If you ask Cheryl and I, you know, our job title in life, it's a lid lifter. We're looking to lift your lid. That is, you know, we talk about the main thing is to keep the main thing, the main thing. Well, the main thing is developing leaders. Absolutely. So we, we're, we're obsessed with personal growth and growing people. And also growing, increasing sales. You know, that's a form of growth is, is, is making the numbers go up. And it's not so much about the numbers. What the numbers represent is um, how many people we're helping. Obviously, if your volume is going up, there's more people using Longevity products. And if there's more people using Longevity products, there's more people getting healthier. So we're improving people's everyday life by making them healthier. So um, those, the growth is our number one value. Now, some people may not value growth in their life. They don't want that. So we're not going to get those people, we're, but people who want to grow are going to want to come into Longevity because they want to grow as a person. The second thing, the second value that we have here at Longevity is contribution. We are absolutely obsessed with helping people improve their physical, emotional, and financial health. That's what we do. So we're, that's what we value, and that's going to attract a certain type of person to us that wants to go and contribute to other people's lives. And last but not least, the third thing that we value here at Longevity is connection. It's forming that strong bond with your inner circle members and with your customers. So this isn't just about growing. It's not just about contributing to other people, but it's about that connection that we have. And Cheryl and I love going to events because we get that connection, that deeper connection with, with uh, everyone in Longevity. And... Um, uh, it's so, so important here. So it's meeting people for coffee. It's getting together for events um, and, and really connecting with other people because that's really what, what this is all about. Wow, I love it, Paul. Those three were absolutely awesome. Those three um, qualities that we really hold near and dear to our hearts here at Longevity. So you guys, truly, who you are is who you attract. So please, please, please get serious about, about this and really start working towards making yourself, just like Paul said, um, it's so important. This personal growth is so important um, to really take those five things on. Uh, rate yourself on a scale from one to 10, score yourself, 10 being the best, and really start to work on these five uh, qualities. They're super, super important for you and for your longevity business. So you guys, homework. For next week, you need to, if you haven't read number nine, The Law of Magnetism, which is absolutely fantastic, one of my favorites, and truly where we need to really start working, um, make sure that you do that this week. And then also to get ready for next week, um, please read number 10, law number 10, The Law of Connection. 
law of connection. You guys, we hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining us here um, on our leadership call. And you guys, we will see you next week. Same time, same place. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone.